What's up, everybody? It's Brian, a.k.a. Cincinnati Kid, checking in with y'all. Just grateful to be here, grateful to be clean and sober today. Uh, the man who sits before you is almost five months clean and sober. Um, and what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is uh, that first step and that first commitment of deciding and committing to getting clean, facing detox, facing withdrawal, and how I did it. What works for me and I, might not work for you, but I know I was one of the worst of the worst. And, you know, if I can do it, you know, you can probably do it too. So, um, <clears throat> the difference, I've been in and out of recovery in the past, I'd say, five good years. I've had some good runs that, you know, my intentions were to get clean and stay clean. And I had that in my head that that was going to work every time. But one thing I didn't really accept was my accountability and my choices. You know, that my choices kept leading me back into withdrawal. And my choices were keeping me associated with the same people, same surroundings uh, that kept me going back, you know. And so today I take a lot of pride in the choice that I'm choosing to live. And I'm refusing to let excuses be the reasons for the things I've done, you know. And that's the difference today. Today I'm choosing to live. You know, I wake up in the morning and I, and I, and I thank God for the things I'm grateful for. And um, instead of focusing on my obligations as things I have to do, I look at everything as what do I get to do. You know, it's my sneaky little way of putting appreciation into everything. So let's get to it. <clears throat> so you're sick of being on heroin. You've lost everything. Your family, you've stole, you've robbed. You're homeless. You're out of money. So your next move is I'm either going to rob a bank or I'm going to put a bullet in my head. Okay, I've been there. Okay, so the first step is how bad do you want to get clean? And this is, you have to find this in you. You either got it or you don't. You're either going to want it bad enough to be able to make the choice that you have to make to abstain from this, or you'll stay in it, you know. And for me, I hit that rock bottom spot where I was sick and tired of being sick and tired enough, and the pain was great enough to where I was able to look at, you know, my life and where I was at and make that choice. So the first step is how bad do you want it? <clears throat> Are you willing to do whatever it takes to not just get clean? And this, I ain't doing this to get you guys clean. I'm not doing this to get you through withdrawal, to get you to a month. I'm, getting, I'm doing this so you can stay clean. That's what it's about. It's not about getting clean. It's about staying clean. And it's about finding the value in yourself and, and, and using that to propel yourself through recovery so it's long-lasting. You know, so the first step is deciding if you want it. Okay, we're there. If you want it bad enough, here's the next step. It's deciding that, looking at all the stuff you've done, because I know the guilt and shame can be heavy and it can keep you in that act of addiction. So, uh, you know, um, you know, the first choice is I want it. Okay, now, day one. Okay, we're out of money, we're out of dope. But now we got that desperate feeling inside of our body that's saying, I cannot live with this feeling of withdrawal. I have to do something about it. And I've been there. I know that desperate feeling. So, like, before you had these ways to get money, you had people you could rob, you had a dope one you could snatch and run with the dope, whatever. Okay, now you're even further down the trough, and you got to do something even more desperate to, to, to get rid of these feelings. But you don't have to. Here's the, here's the, here's the fact. The feelings that you're feeling, these emotions, they're not facts. You can sit through this moment of sweating your pores out, of restlessness, your legs bouncing around, your thoughts racing a million miles an hour. Here's what I'm gonna take you to do. Just commit to this. Commit to not using and just sitting through the feelings. Even if a second lasts an hour and minutes seem like days, just sit through it, okay? And just make that commitment to sit through it, okay? We're gonna fast forward through that restless night, you got no sleep, da 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 da. Nine in the morning, okay? Let's look back on that day. Let's look back on yesterday. We sat through the moment. We did not have to go use. We didn't rob nobody. We didn't steal. We didn't manipulate the situation to escape these feelings, okay? This was the first step. The footer is being created in this great foundation that you're building. Um, and here, here's what I want you to focus on that. As you're relishing on them acts that you did and you made it through them moments, you feel good. There's a little bit of a feeling in you that, know, that says, all right, I did it. That little good feeling is the first dose of 
value of self-respect that you're building up. And that's what we're gonna work, that's what we're gonna build up here to uh, start this great foundation of recovery that's gonna last a little bit, okay? So you made yourself do it day one, okay? So here's the, here's the fact. You didn't have to act on these emotions. And here's another fact. You built up some, some uh, self-respect and some value, okay? And it's a process. There's a lot of other deciding factors that go into this, like depression and, and learning how to forgive yourself. But this is, we're just gonna go through the motions and hit the gas and make ourselves make it through these first couple days, okay? And if that means just white knuckling it and just committing to just not doing it no matter what, sitting in the same chair, changing positions 2,000 times throughout the day, you know, day two, that feeling of knowing you did something, doing the right thing for a, a positive result at the end of it is what's going to propel us, okay, through this. So we made it through day one. Day two, same thing, okay? You want to get some food in you. You want to get some liquids in you, okay? Your body's going through withdrawal. It's going to suck. It is going to suck, okay? But this new thing of recovery that's, that's, that's happening is this house that we're building, okay? We're building the foundation that we're going to be building this house. Now tell me, are you going to work to protect something a little more that you're given? Or are you going to protect it more if you build it nail by nail, sweat through it, barely get it done? And what I mean by that is, I think the harder the withdrawal and the more painful the withdrawal, once you make it through it, you won't want to go back through it and you'll work to protect what's at the end of it more than if, and I'm not saying this, this ain't for everybody, this is for me. It, you'll work to protect it more as if you, like if you used meds to help you through it, if you know, if you, if you took a different route rather than just going through the very painful withdrawal and you know the sleepless nights the sweating through the whole night you know i hate all of it but looking back now i know as i was going through this and i'm starting to get those first glimpses of clarity and the first feelings of that withdrawal subsiding and i'm going oh, i did it i made it through this withdrawal without taking a valium without taking a subox and a methadone without doing a couple lines of heroin just to get me through i did it without any help whatsoever so those first glimpses of that feeling of um, knowing you did the right thing, you know, without, without resorting to an escape, you know, that's, that's a really pure dose of value. And as you do this, and as you feel this feeling, your brain is automatically knowing that it, that was the way that it got that good feeling. So it's going to start turning on those chemicals that we've shut off by shooting dope and that being our synthetic way of being happy. So, we've made it through a couple days. We've pushed through these restless nights. It's not gonna be easy. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna be easy, but it will be worth it. Five months down the road, I sleep through the night. I don't sweat through the night. My thoughts are in a continuous, smooth pattern. They're not all over the place. So, Here's what we're gonna do. It's just simple as this. Three basic principles. Okay, we're gonna get through this together. The first one is committing to just not using and focusing on doing the next right thing, okay? The second phase of this is just believing in yourself and really focusing on stopping, recognizing the voice in your head and these thoughts that are driving you to using or thinking negatively and surround yourself with some positive people. If you can't do that, find it within yourself. You know, I got sober in a jail cell, sweating, going through terrible withdrawal, but as I was making it through that and I knew, you know, um, that these feelings of desperation that would normally have me going to see drugs weren't facts, but they feel like facts. They feel like you have to do something about it. Like, or the world's gonna end. I'm telling you right now, the world's not gonna end. You know, you can make it through it. And I'm proof. You know, I was one of the worst of the worst. I would do anything to get my drug. I've robbed from family. I've stole from my children. I've hurt people, you know. I've pretty much sold my soul to get that next shot. But uh, I sit before you today in victory. And so, you know, I just wanna just give you some hope, you know, cause I've been there. I know what it feels like to just be on day two and like, fuck this, it's not gonna work, I can't, it's not me. Well, believe in yourself, 
And just know that just push through it because I'm telling you a month into it, even if every single day lasts forever, a month into it, you're going to look back and you're going to know like, wow, I did it. I didn't escape. And that feeling of that value, that worth, nothing can shake that. It's a solid foundation. It's pure. It's what naturally needs to happen to your brain to get them chemicals working back the way they should. The damage we do with drugs is there. It is what it is. And the best way to fix them is by doing these these going through these motions that teach your brain and learn your brain how to do these things again, you know. And I'm just trying to help, man. I got a couple friends that are in their first stages of recovery, you know, the first month, the first week, the first hours, the day before, trying to make up their mind if they want to get clean. I just want to tell you right now, your life is beautiful. No matter how much damage you've done, no matter who you've done wrong, your life is beautiful. You have a design and a purpose. And a potential that, you know, grab it inside of you and run with it, you know, and believe in yourself. You are loved. I love you. You know, reach out to me. I'm on Facebook, Brandon, the Cincinnati kid. Um, look me up. I'm here for anybody. I'll message you back. Um, I'll give you my tips, everything that I did to make it through it. I just think it's about being accountable for your actions. Everything is a choice. Okay. You can choose today to not be an addict. You can choose to let go of your past and you can change for tomorrow and be better. Um, all we got is today, so just make the best of it. You don't have to be who you were. You can change for the better and your identity can be a changed man that went to the depths of the farthest way down and made it out. And who knows, maybe you can help somebody else that's went that far down that doesn't think they can get out. So here I am and we're on five months clean and sober, and I hope I gave you guys a little bit of hope and some um, inspiration, because uh, the only way I can keep this thing is by giving it to you. So uh, I thank you for all the support, all the people in my corner that are pushing me to succeed. You know, it really inspires me to keep moving forward by helping you all. So that's all I got, and you'll see more of me here soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. Peace.